Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome uh, you all for second class. So day before yesterday, uh, I have taken, not day before yesterday, on 13, I suppose, right? So 13 was the first class. So that was the introductory class of uh, accounting. So in that class, uh, I taught you uh, what is accounting all about, what is the process of accounting, and uh, I have also told you about what is capital, what is liability, then uh, uh, what is a set okay so that with few accounting terms uh, uh, i have explained it to you hope you have understood right so uh, what's your good name komal deka okay uh, you are from commerce okay commerce fine right now you're doing what are you doing right now mcom completed okay fine very good fine <coughs> so uh, today we'll uh, explain i'll explain what are the types of accounts <coughs> so <coughs> so last class i have told you what is an account all about so an account is defined as a summarized record of transactions related to a person or a thing so person it can be anyone like mr x tina sheena okay ajay vijay or thing can be like it can be anything like salary, okay, rent, a building, plant, right? So an account is defined as a summarized record of transactions, so it is business transactions related to a person or a thing. An account has two sides. So one is the left side, so left side is the debit side, and the right side, that is your credit. In short, in account accountancy, in short, we write debit as DR and credit as CR, okay? <coughs> So now we'll see what are the various types of account, what are the types of account. So this is the basic of, basic of accountancy. So when you will do your final accounts. So that is one of the very important chapter. Uh, not only in uh, intergroup one, you will find uh, accounting in all the, uh, uh, like throughout your courses. So you need to know the basics. So types of accounts here, you can see there are two types of account, personal account and non-personal or we can say impersonal account. Okay, so personal account and impersonal. So impersonal, there are two types of account. One is real account and another one is nominal account. So here we can say that there are three types of account, personal, real, and nominal account. Fine. So personal account here, there are three types again. That is like uh, categorized into three, natural, personal account, artificial personal account and representative personal account. So here, what is natural person personal account? So natural person account means we are natural person. We are natural person. We are not artificial. We are natural. We have our own blood, right? the blood will come out, right? We have our own blood. We have uh, bones flash right so we are natural person so mr x here mr x is the natural person so if you are if the business is dealing with any natural person okay that is mr x ajay mr ajay mr vijay so that is called your natural personal account all about fine understood so here ajay account vijay account mr x account so that is your natural personal account. So that comes under your personal account. Understood? So a person's, uh, in the name of the person, like whenever we open one account, so that, that comes in the category of natural personal account. Understood? Okay. Now here, artificial personal account, that also one type of account, artificial personal account. So artificial is like what? Artificial is like Oil India Limited, suppose. So if the business organization or the firm is dealing with any kind of company or firm or any kind of other businesses, okay, so that is your artificial personal account, right? So company, so here Oil India Limited or Wipro or Infosys or any kind of business firm, okay, Mercer's, Gupta and Sons. So that is a business firm. Right, so any kind of business firm or the organizations or the companies, so they are called as the artificial personal account. They are not, they are not, they are not natural personal. 
right? They are not nat natural person. They are artificial person. Okay, why we are saying artificial person? Because see, whenever here, whenever we are talking about, suppose, Oil India Limited. So this is a company. So Oil India Limited in the name of Oil India also, we can open one account. But that is not a natural person, right? It is a personal account, but it is a natural person. How it's a natural person? Because Oil India has its own name. Oil India has its own address, right? Oil India has its own signature in the form of common seal. Right, so here Oil India, we can say, uh, say that that is an artificial person, right? Because it has its own name like us, it has its own address like us, but they do not have blood flash, right? So that's why here the, all the companies, if we are doing any kind of business, any kind of business with any firm, so that comes under your artificial personal account. Fine, understood? Okay, now. Uh, see Oil India Limited account, or uh, if uh, the business is dealing with measures Gupta and Sun, Gupta and G Gupta and Sons account, so th that is your artificial personal account. Clear? Okay. Now next is your representative personal account. Representative personal account here means see some of the example of representative personal account is salary outstanding. Okay, salary outstanding. Salary outstanding means, see, every month, okay, every month the firm, the b business organization pay, suppose, 50,000 salary to the employees. Okay, so every month or you can say every year, the firm is paying 6 lakhs to its employees. Fine, out of 6 lakhs, if the company is yet to pay, suppose, 50,000 rupees, yet to pay 50,000 rupees, that is like yet to Pay. So yet to pay means have to pay it, but not yet paid. So every business organization, they have to pay it. Like if something has to pay, it, like salary, have to pay it to the employees, 6 lakhs rupees. So if the firm has not yet paid, that is called yet to pay or uh, we can say it is outstanding. So it will be salary outstanding. Salary outstanding, 50,000 rupees. So salary outstanding is one of the example of representative personal account. Okay? Representative personal account. And another one is one more example we can say prepaid rent. Prepaid rent. So every year, okay, the firm pays, suppose, 50,000 rent. But the company has paid 60,000, right? And 10,000 is for the next year. And we do accounting only for the financial year, right? So that is from April to March. So if we are paying it for the next year, so that, will, that we will not consider. We will record it, but we will not consider that. So we'll consider that as prepaid. We have already paid. We have advanced paid, right? So we, here, rent we are supposed to pay 50,000, but we have paid, we have paid 60,000. So 10,000 is more here. So 10,000 is more. So 10,000 will be, 10,000 will be here, prepaid rent. So prepaid rent is also one of the example of representative personal account. Am I clear to you? So all the personal account here, we can say, Debit, so salary outstanding. So here, salary outstanding. So that is like uh, we are yet uh, we are yet to pay salary, prepaid rent. Fine. So these are some of the example of representative personal account. So this is your personal account all about. So there are three types of personal account: natural, artificial, and representative. Okay. Now another type is your real account. Okay. So. Whenever we talk about real account, here real account means the asset. You need to remember the assets of the company, the properties of the company, okay, are the real account. Fine? So all the real account items we, we record in the balance sheet asset side. Okay, balance sheet asset side. Where we record it? In the balance sheet asset side. So all the real account items we record it in the Balance sheet, asset side. So here, real account, there are two types of real account. One is your tangible 
and another one is intangible. So tangible, the real accounts which we can see and we can touch. Okay, which we can see and we can touch. Can you give me some example? Yes, plant machinery, can you building furniture. So these are some of the example of your tangible real account. So which we can see and touch. And intangible which, which we cannot see, we cannot touch. But there is a value. Okay, we record it in the asset side of the firm. Fine? In the bal balance sheet. So balance sheet, we have liability side. And in the right hand side, we have asset side. So in the asset side, we also record the intangible, intangible real accounts. Okay, intangible assets. Fine, intangible real accounts. So can you give me some example? Goodwill, patent, copyright, trademark. So these are some of the example of, some of the example of intangible. So here, uh, the example are goodwill, trademark, copyright, okay, so these are some of the example of your intangible real account. <clears throat> now we'll move on to <clears throat> nominal account. So this is clear, real account is clear. So real account here, tangible and intangible. So tangible are plant machinery which we can see and intangible are your goodwill, patent, copyright. So those are the example of real account. So real account, all the items we write in the, which side? Asset side in the balance sheet, fine. And now nominal account, fine. So nominal account here, Nominal accounts are all the expenses are your nominal account. All the expenses and the losses and gain and incomes. Okay, so income and gains as well as like losses and the expenses are the nominal accounts. So as I've given you the example, rent is an expense, right? Rent given, rent paid, that is an expense expense rent received that's a that is coming in right that is coming in so rent is one rent is going out another rent is coming in right so one one is your expense another one is the income right so here again salary paid commission paid commission received discount allowed discount received okay audit fees fine then salary, okay, salary I've already told you. Then we have insurance. So that way there are many expenses of a particular firm or business organization. So all those expenses are the nominal accounts, okay? And even all the income and the gains. As I've told you, discount received, commission received, okay? So rent received. So these are the example of your income. And gain is like if any asset is sold, for profit. So that will be the gain, gain for the firm. So that will also be, we can say, a nominal account. So nominal accounts are expenses and losses and income and gains. And here, all the expenses, all the expenses are debited. And all the and expense and losses are debited and all the income and gains are credited. You always remember that whenever you are, you are, uh, <clears throat> there is a trial balance. Uh, last class I have told you about trial balance. Can you remember? Can you remember in the trial balance what we, uh, like what are the items in trial balance? We write all the balances of all the accounts, right? So one is journal, then ledger. So from the ledger, whatever we get the balances of various accounts, so th those balances are written or record, uh, written in the trial balance, fine? So trial balance will be given in your examination, trial balance will be given, and from the trial balance, you are required to prepare profit and loss account, you are required to prepare balance sheet, right? So whenever you will get nominal accounts, 
whenever you will get any type of nominal account, like some of the example I have given you, any type of expenses or income, like salary, discount, commission, okay, some fees, insurance, okay, so all those you will be recording in the profit and loss account, fine? So profit and loss account, every, as I've told you, every account has two sides, one is debit side and another one is credit side. So in the debit side, you will record the expenses and the losses, fine? That you remember. And in the credit side, you will record gain and the incomes, fine? So when you will analyze the tr uh, trial balance and when you will start preparing profit and loss account, that you remember, fine? Aag ban karke, if this is an expense, put it in the debit side. If it is an income, put it in the credit side, simple. Fine? Am I clear to everyone? Okay. So that is your nominal account all about. So personal account here, we are talking about a person's name, a company's name, or like representative is like salary outstanding, prepaid, uh, rent. Okay, so those are some of the commission advances, uh, accrued commission. So those are the example of your representative personal account. And real account, you remember all the assets, all the assets. Fine, all the assets. So all the assets will be put in the balance sheet assets side. Fine? And nominal account, it is expenses and the losses and income and gains. You will put it in the profit and loss account, debit side or maybe in the credit side if it's an income or gain. Am I clear to everyone? Account, various types of account. Okay, so all the engineers, now you're doing CMA, you have understood? The students who are online? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, this is one of the uh, old rule we can say. And this is not a modern rule. So this is uh, one of the traditional rule of. <clears throat> So traditional rule here, what, what we will debit it and what we will credit it. So here, as there are three types of accounts, I have explained it to you. So whenever we are doing any personal account, the rule is for personal account, the rule is debit the receiver. Okay, debit the receiver, whoever is receiving, debit it. Okay, and credit the giver. Okay, debit the receiver, credit the giver. So you write down the rules. It will be easier for you when I will explain it to you how to do the journal entry. Fine. So here in personal account, the rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. Okay, so one example I give, uh, give you, rupees 500 paid to Mr. <coughs> das, suppose. Okay, rupees 500 paid to Mr. Das. So here, who is the receiver? Mr. Das. Okay, so Mr. Das is which type of account? Hmm? Personal account, yes. So what Mr. Das is getting? What Mr. Das is getting? He is getting cash. So from, this is, this is transaction. This is called what? Transaction. Okay, so that they have told you. So this is one of the business transaction. So when you will identify the business transaction, after that, you give the journal entry. So when you will do the journal entry, you need to remember and identify. So what are the here accounts related to it? So here, one account will be Mr. Das, another account will be cash. Okay, so Mr. Das is a personal account. So when we're talking about, when we are talking about personal account, debit the receiver. So who is the receiver here? Mr. Das, okay. So Mr. Das account, debit 502. Okay, now as we have already identified, there are two types of, two types account here, we have identified Mr. Das and cash. Mr. Das and cash. So here, automatically, if Mr. Das is debited, what will be the credit? 
cash, right? What will be the credit? Cash, fine? This is the journal entry, but if you'll not see this, suppose we'll see cash. So cash is what type of account? Hmm? Cash is real account, right? Cash is real account. We write it in the balance sheet asset side. Cash is a real account, fine? Cash sheet, cash in hand, okay? Cash at bank, okay? So that's a real account. So this is real account, see? Debit the asset, right? Cash is asset, so debit the asset, credit the liabilities here. Okay, so here, real account here, asset are debited, but here asset is going or coming? It is going. Okay, asset is going. Fine. So asset is going here, asset is decreasing. We'll come, uh, come to this point also. So here asset is decreasing, asset is not coming. Right? So asset is Asset is decreasing, like pale cash in hand, it was like 50,000, now 500 is going. Right, so that's why we are crediting cash here. Fine, understood? Okay, so here, personal account, debit the receiver and credit the giver. And nominal account, as already I have told you, debit all the expenses and losses and credit the incomes and gains. So here, one of the example is like rent paid rupees 1,000. So rent is an expense, rent is an expense, so rent account and cash account. So what will be debited? What will be debited? So here there are two accounts, rent account and cash account. So what we will debit? Rent or cash? Rent. Hmm? Hmm. Understood or not? You know, <laughs> I'm asking you. Yeah. Rent is, a ex rent is an expense, right? So this, this is your first class, right? You understand, they're engineers, BTEC, so that's why I'm asking them. So nominal account, so rent is a nominal account. So rent, okay, rent, we are paying it, right? Rent paid, so that's an expense, right? Rent paid, that's an expense, so ex we debit all the expenses. Always remember that, we debit all the expenses. Here, two accounts we have identified, rent account and cash account. Because in the rent we are paying, but what is going? Cash is going, so there are two types of account, rent account and cash account. Understood? So you apply this, so rent is a nominal account, you apply rent is a nominal account, so rent kya hai expense hai. ठीक है रेंट क्या है एक्सपेंस है तो एक्सपेंस को तो डेबिट करना है लेकिन एक्सपेंस का क्या नाम है यहाँ पे व्हाट इज़ द नेम ऑफ़ द एक्सपेंस रेंट द नेम नेम ऑफ़ द एक्सपेंस इज़ रेंट सो रेंट अकाउंट हियर द जर्नल एंट्री विल बी रेंट अकाउंट डेबिट 1000 टू कैश अकाउंट सो रेंट इज़ गोइंग सो इन मनी इज़ गोइंग हियर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेंट राइट मनी इज़ गोइंग Money is going, money is reducing, cash come ho hai na? Getting it? So, so that is the simple journal entry for this nominal account, yes? No, 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 here, no, here I'm, uh, here like, re, uh, why we are saying here, asset is decreasing, asset is decreasing, uh, don't go to this, we'll come to another uh, rule also. So here you simply, Identify this, rent, that is an expense. We'll come to another rule also, fine? Increasing and decreasing side. Uh, together, together don't, don't use it. I'll, I'll, it will be easier for you, I'll explain you. Together how you can do it. Okay, right now you just concentrate this. So you just concentrate on this expense, fine? So all the expenses, you remember, all the ex any type of expense or any type of loss, of the business so that we debit it. Any kind of loss. <clears throat> so like goods, uh, uh, like that is lost by fire, theft, so that is a loss, so that we'll debit it. Salary paid, debit it. Rent paid, debit it. Discount allowed, you'll debit, right? Discount account, debit. Commission paid, commission account, debit. So any expenses, you'll debit, fine? And any income and gains, you will credit it. Suppose here, <clears throat> Suppose here, here I'll give you example, the income or gains. Suppose 
commission example is like commission commission received rupees 1500 commission received okay so commission received is income commission received is income all the incomes are credited so income is what commission income is commission so in the form of commission what we are getting it what is receiving cash we are uh, getting it so commission is credited so commission will be credit what we will debit cash so cash account debit to commission received account 1500 fine so if it's an income we will write down in the credit side if it's an expense we will write down in the debit side understood understood or not okay so this is all about your nominal account hello hello ma'am yes ma'am it would be the same if uh, the transaction would have been rent received rupees 10000 uh, yes rent re uh, receive rupees 10000 so if it's rent receive rupees 10000 then the journal entry is cash account debit to rent received account okay, okay the previous example was rent paid previous example was rent paid so that was an expense so that's why the uh, <coughs> journal here uh, journal entry was rent account debit to cash account so this is paid rent paid okay and you have toll rent received so when you're receiving rent that's an income okay so cash is coming in cash account debit to rent receive account and when you're paying rent so rent is an expense and when you're receiving rent that is income so that's why it is uh, going into credit side and when you're receiving uh, when you uh, if it's an expense you're writing it in the debit side rent account debit to cash account understood yes ma'am understood under yes yes this is called journal entry i'm not writing in proper format i'm just sh showing you so there is a proper format for journal entry fine i'm explaining you the rules after that we'll do the journal entry okay so these are the rules journal entry then after journal entry it is ledger after ledger we prepare trial balance okay from trial balance we prepare final account so that that is a chapter there is a chapter okay so you have final account that's a chapter you have partnership as chapter in the partnership you have to do various journal entries and to do all the journal entries you need to know yes this one otherwise it will be very difficult for you to do various journal entries right so this is the base suppose if you want to write your name uh, what's your name hmm? sorry okay because they've not so because they've not v i k a s okay d e b n a t h so you have to for that you have learned a b c d okay you have struggled for one or two years to learn a b c d so this is a b c d of commerce a b c d of commerce <laughs> fine so without knowing a b c d without if you do not know how to write a b c d and the curves how will you write because devnath so same ways right you need to know the basics so basics you can apply everywhere and if your basics are clear your like final accounts and all the partnership your uh, admission retirement uh, debt dissolution those will you know you will never do this mistake and even the balance sheet fine okay so you remember all this so this is all about your nominal account so nominal account uh, clear everyone clear okay fine <clears throat> okay now we'll see real account so real account here whenever we talk about uh, uh, real account <clears throat> the here assets are as i've told you the assets are the uh, uh, real account here whenever we debit we we whenever any asset is coming in okay so whenever the firm is buying or we can say when the firm is buying any asset the firm is buying any asset suppose the firm is buying plant okay so plant is purchase 
What is coming into the farm? What is coming into the business? What is coming? Plant. So plant is an asset. It is coming in, and what is going out? Hmm? What is going out? Or oh, cash is going out. So here, <clears throat> so assets here. So plant account debit. So plant is asset, and even cash is asset. Fine. Plant is as, uh, asset, and even cash is asset. So in this case, plant is coming, and cash is going out. Okay. Plant is coming and cash is going going out. So plant, that's why we are writing debit. So as, if asset is increasing, if any asset is coming, we will write debit. If any assets are going, uh, so, okay. As if asset is coming, we are writing debit. If assets are going, we are writing credit. Cash is going. So purchase plan, plant account debit to cash account. If it's sold plant, suppose sold, sold plant. So plant is going out, and money is coming in, right? What is going out? Plant, and money is coming in. So what is coming in? Cash is coming in. So that's why we are writing cash account debit. Both are both are real account. Cash and plant both are real account, but one is coming. And one is going. Whatever it is going, we are writing in the credit side. Whatever it is coming, okay. So increase in asset, increase in asset is debit, and decrease in asset is credit. Okay. So increase, this is increasing. That's why debit. This is decreasing, credit, or vice versa. So plant, you have sold. It is going. So that's why credit. Fine. And here, cash. Is going so that's where credit, fine. And here, another point I have written here: liabilities. So that day I have told you about liabilities, right? I've told you about liabilities. What is liability all about? One of the example I've told you: loan, bank loan. If the business firm has taken bank loan, so that is the liability, fine. So that is the liability. So liability. This is suppose balance sheet. Okay, this is balance sheet. And this side is your asset. This side is the liability. And you always remember, assets are your debit balances, and liabilities are your credit balances. But we never write debit and credit in balance sheet. Okay, we we don't write debit and credit because here liabilities are credit balances. Always remember, in the trial balance, in the trial balance, in the credit side, we will find income and gains and the liabilities. In the trial balance, in the credit balances, you will find income and gains and the liabilities. Fine, all the liabilities. Liabilities. Some of the example of liabilities are creditors, right? Bills payable. Fine. Those are the liabilities. So liabilities are the credit, and assets are the debit balances. Fine. So here, <coughs> debit the assets and credit the liabilities. Okay, so this is another method. We can say uh, one of the modern method, right? We are talking about uh, asset. So asset. So assets are what balance? Debit balance. So whenever in the farm, any asset is coming in, increase in asset. If any asset is coming in, whenever you purchase. Or if any cash is coming in, fine. So increase debit. So we will write down debit. Plant purchase, plant account debit, right? Sold goods. When goods are sold, cash is coming in. Cash is coming. When you are selling, cash is coming, right? Cash account debit. So first you identify that particular account is what. If it's an asset, that part, if that particular account is an asset, and you know what are now asset, right? Fine. You know what are list of asset. You know plant, machinery, furniture, any property of the business, vehicle, 
right? AC, fine? TV, those are your asset. Those are the asset. So assets are debit balances, and if the firm will buy, or the firm will get, suppose cash is coming in, or if the firm will buy a plant or land or building, so that is increase, so we will write in the debit side. Building purchase, building account debit. Fine? Understood? Plant purchase, plant account debit. Sold goods, cash is coming in, cash account debit. So increase is debit. If it's decrease, you will credit. If it's decrease, cash is going out. Purchase goods. Purchasing, when go purchase goods. Goods are coming in, but what is going? Cash, so cash you will credit. So decreases, if it is decreased, then credit. So that is in case of your asset. Remember? Understood? Okay. Now expense. All the expenses are what balances? We write down in the debit side. That you remember? Increase in asset is debit. Whenever there is an increase in asset, the BB, BB expense increase hoga, debit. And decrease in asset is, sorry, decrease in expense, sorry, not, not asset, decrease in expense is credit. Then liabilities are, as I've told you, it is a credit balance. So increase in liability, credit. And decrease in liability, debit. Okay? And equity, or we can say capital. I've told you what is capital all about in my first class. Right? So increase in capital, that is your credit. So here capital is the credit balance. Here increase in capital, credit. Decrease in capital, debit. And income or gain, or we can say revenue or gain, it's a <coughs> credit balance, increases credit and decreases debit. Okay? So you write down this. <clears throat> Sunny, have you understood? Joyshree, Sachin? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Samudra? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Samudra, uh, you are from which place? You told? I'm from Jorhat, ma'am. Jorhat, okay. Rakhi? Yes, ma'am. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Have you, have you all written? Written? Everyone has written? <clears throat> so, uh, so FS is your financial statement, okay? Financial statement, fine. So the accounting process is like first we uh, record the transactions, right? We record the transactions, then we give the journal entry. We identify the transactions, business transactions, we record it. Then record is like, example is like, rent paid rupees 500. So we record it, we write it, okay? We write it in the books of accounts. Then we give journal entry, rent paid rupees 500. We give journal entry. So that is your rent account debit to cash account. So after journal, we post it into ledger. So, post it into ledger. So, we prepare various accounts. Salary account, rent account, cash account, capital account, right? Commission account, commission received account, discount account. So, that way we prepare various accounts. And from ledger, we get the balances. We get the balances. And from that, from there, we prepare trial balance. We prepare trial balance and from trial balance we can prepare many accounts we can prepare what we can prepare trading account right we can prepare profit and loss account profit and loss account so from trading account we come to know about 
gross profit of the business, GP, gross profit of the business. From profit and loss account, we come to know about net profit or net loss of the business. Then we can prepare what? Balance sheet. Okay, so from balance sheet, we come to know about the asset and the liability position of the business. Then we can also prepare, okay, cash flow. Okay, cash flow statement. So cash flow statement is like it shows from cash flow statement, we come to know how much money is going and how much money is coming. So flowing of the cash, going and coming. So, so that is also part of your financial statement. So whenever we are preparing financial statement, there are, we need to see these key elements, asset, expense, liability, capital, and revenue, fine? And last class I have told you about what? Accounting equation. So what is the accounting equation? What is the accounting equation? Asset equal to capital plus liability. Fine, so that is the accounting equation. Asset equal to capital plus liability because in the balance sheet, okay? So in the balance sheet, so this side we write all the assets and this side we write capital and various liabilities. So capital plus liability is equal to asset, fine? Or asset minus liability equal to capital, fine? Understood? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now next is your journal, fine? So uh, this is the meaning of journal. Journal has been derived from the French word jour, J-O-U-R, uh, which means day or we can say daily because we give the journal entries daily. That is date-wise. As soon as it will happen, we give the record. So it is a book of original entry. So journal, another name of journal is like, we can also say journal is the book of original entry to record the transaction chronologically, that is in order of date. Okay, January 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, April 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that way, like uh, date-wise, we give the journal entry and in detail the various transactions of a trader or maybe the farm. So that is all about your journal. Fine, understood? Okay. <coughs> Now next one is, uh, I'll explain it to you about cash book, okay? So cash book, the name itself suggesting, what is it? The name itself suggesting cash book. That means in this book, we record only the cash transactions. What we record? Only the cash transactions, okay? So if money is coming, our money is going, only those items or the accounts are recorded in the cash book. So cash book is a special journal which is used for recording all cash receipts and cash payments. Okay, all cash receipts and payments. It is a book of original entry. So this is also known as book of original entry. So here, <coughs> mm. The format of cash book is like, so this is cash book. So this is your debit side and this is your credit side. This is same like your ledger account. We prepare ledger account like this, okay? Uh, so this is like account. So this part is your debit, this part is the credit. And this is your date column. And in the credit side also, we prepare a date column, and this is your amount column. And this side also, we prepare amount column. Fine? So this is your debit side. So in the cash book, okay, we record all the, we, all the receipts. Okay? And here, we record all the payments. We record all the payments. Suppose one of the example, I'm, uh, see, cash-related items only. So cash related, any journal you tell me? Any journal you tell me? 
Hmm? Sorry, any transaction you tell me? Rent paid. How much? Okay. Rent paid rupees 1000. So this is the transaction. What is your journal entry? Rent account debit to cash account. So journal entry here is rent account debit to cash account. So this is an expense. This is an expense, right? So if it's expense, money is going or coming? It is going. I've told you in the cash book, in the, in the debit side, it is receipt, and in the credit side, it is payment. So this is, we are, we are giving payment, rent paid, we are giving payment, right? So it is a cash book. So here we will write, buy rent. So any payment, this side, any payment. So cash paid to, suppose cash paid to Mr. <coughs> Borua, rupees 500, fine? So this is payment. So we will write here, buy Borua, buy Borua, fine? Or suppose another example is like, uh, rupees 500 received from Oil India. So this is received, what we'll write? Debit side to Oil India. We will write to Oil India. So we will not write in the cash book, ye mera hi ghar hai. Mere ghar pe mere, mera naam nahi likhna hai. Likhta hai if it's a contra entry. I'll tell you what is contra entry afterwards. Okay? So cash book. Okay, so we are writing here, rupees 500 paid, or sorry, received from Oil India. So this is receipt side here to Oil India. So to Oil India here we will write. So that you remember, whenever we are talking about cash book, so cash book, it is same like your ledger. The format is same like ledger, fine? And in the cash book, in the credit side, we write all the payments. And in the debit side, we write all, yes, fine. Okay, now uh, we are talking about contra entry. We will see this afterwards, fine. So now we'll see, is cash book a journal or ledger? Is cash book a journal or ledger? So cash book is a book of original entry since transactions are recorded for the first time from the source document. So direct from the first source document, we can write it. We can give entry in cash book, fine. And the cash book is ledger in the sense that it is designed in the form of cash account. It is designed in the form of <coughs> cash account. Okay. It is designed in the form of cash account and records cash received on the debit side and cash payments on the credit side. So that's why we can say cash book is both journal as well as ledger. So why it is called a journal? Because this is also called as the book of original entry. Okay, which can be recorded for the first time direct from the source document. Okay, direct from the source document. Source document are your vouchers, cash memo. So from direct from the, because when you will see the source document, you'll come to know whether money is coming or going, whether it is paid or received. You'll come to know. So, so that's why we can say cash book is a journal and it is also called as cash book is a ledger. Why? Because it, it is in the form of cash account. Okay, account means we are talking about whenever we are preparing account, that means we are preparing ledger accounts, right? If you're preparing salary account, that means we are doing what? We are doing ledger, we are posting, fine? So cash book is both journal or ledger, both journal and ledger. So now, uh, after journal, I've told you what? Ledger. So what is ledger? It is the primary or principal book of accounts. It contains all the accounts. Okay? So asset, plant account. Liability, creditor's account. Okay? Kone, creditor, kone. who are the creditors? Creditors. Creditors are our liability. Creditors. 
creditors. Who are creditors? Who are creditors? Them who, uh, to whom we need to pay. Yes. Okay. So those are creditors. That means, suppose we have uh, purchase goods from <coughs> Mr. Mm, Gupta. So Mr. Gupta is our creditor. Okay? Mr. Gupta on credit. Okay? Four rupees. We have purchased four rupees. Twenty thousand. Okay? So here we are not we have not paid any amount to Gupta. But what has come? Gupta ke pas ham gaye. Gupta ne kya diya ham logo? Kya diya? Goods diya. Hai ki nahi? Purchase goods. Ye man lo ki ye goods se. Saman de diya. Saman aya. Okay? So we have purchased. So here the journal entry is purchase account debit to cash to nahi hoga hai ki nahi cash nahi hoga because we have not paid we have purchased on credit theek hai to kya karenge man lo ki you have a grocery shop suppose theek hai koi aaya aapke paas khareedne ke liye wo bola ki kal paisa denge like we'll pay you after two days you will write his name so same ways when you're purchasing if you have not paid you will write his name write his name okay so here purchase account debit to gupta account gupta account so who is gupta gupta is our creditor understood who is gupta gupta is our creditor because we are supposed to pay him money 20000 okay we have to pay money to gupta nahi to gupta ekdam aa jayega paltan leke hai ki nahi 20000 kahan hai de do hai ki nahi so gupta is our creditor and creditors are our liability jaise bank se loan liya gupta se bhi to saman liya paisa to dena padega hai ki nahi so gupta is our liability so that way like jin logo ko bhi paisa dena hai hum logo ne saman kharida tha they are our credit yes liability they are our creditors fine so opposite to that creditor ka opposite kya hai yes debtors theek hai that you remember the opposite of creditor is debtor that way you try to remember the terms so when i'm taking your class every day you are getting new terms and you write down what is it fine so opposite to creditor is debtor debtor kya hai jin logo ko humne saman becha you know we have sold goods on credit lekin paisa nahi aaya paisa nahi aaya then we will write his name otherwise how i will come to know that i have sold it to whom aapko kitna becha aapko kitna becha how i will come to know so that's why it's very important to record and write the name of the person or the firm from from whom we have purchased and to whom we have sold right so here if you have sold goods on credit paisa nahi aaya getting it sold goods on credit then then suppose we have sold it to mr soikya so mr soikya will be our our what creditor or debtor debtor yes very good so mr soikya is our debtor so debtor are asset jaise creditor liability hai वैसे मिस्टर डेटर हो गया आपका एसेट वी विल रिकॉर्ड इट इन द एसेट साइड फाइन देन सी लेजर लाइक वी कैन प्रिपेयर वेरियस वी इट कंटेन्स ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ अकाउंट एसेट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एसेट वेरियस लाइबिलिटीज एग्जांपल वी कैन से क्रेडिटर्स बिल्स पेबल देन कैपिटल अकाउंट रेवेन्यू अकाउंट वेरियस एक्सपेंसिस अकाउंट रैन सैलरी पेड ऑल दोस अकाउंट to which transactions recorded in the books of original un entry are transferred okay then <coughs> these are some transactions okay these are some transactions mohan started business with capital rupees 50000 this is one of the transaction so here uh, i'll give you just journal entry of this Mohan started business with capital 
uh, rupees 50,000. So here the journal entry will be cash is coming into the business, cash account debit to capital account. So this is the journal entry, cash account debit to capital account. So when we will prepare ledger, okay, we'll prepare various types of accounts. So here uh, two types of accounts are cash account and capital account. So whenever we are preparing cash account, so suppose we are pre preparing cash account. So this is cash account. Okay, we are preparing cash account. So here, this is your amount column. This is amount column. This is debit side. And this is credit side. And this is your date column here. Date is not there. This is date column. Fine. So here, whenever we are Preparing ledger, so cash account, so this is cash account, cash account is debit, cash account is debit, okay, so cash account debit to capital account, so here written to capital account, cash account it's debited, so we will write here to capital account, to capital account, fine, so that way we can give ledger posting, and whenever we are preparing, so cash account is one account, and Another account, suppose, another account is what? Capital account. So we have to prepare another account also. That is capital account. Okay? So capital account is credit. Two capital account. It is credit. Okay? It is credit. So we will not write capital. We will write cash here. Buy cash account. So this is credit. So this is your credit side. Buy cash account. We will write in the amount column. Uh, whatever is the amount. Suppose 50,000. So we will write 50,000. Fine, so that way we give ledger posting by preparing various accounts. Fine, we'll do a sum in the next class. Fine, so that way there are various transactions and from transaction we give journal entry. So this is called journal entry. So from journal entry we post in the ledger account. So this is the one only I've given you one example. This is another one. Purchase goods for rupees 6,000. So what is the journal entry? Mm, purchase, purchase account, account DR2. Debit to cash. Yes, purchase account debit to cash account. Very good. Yes, you're responding. I'm very happy. Next one. Sold goods for rupees 2,000. Yes, cash account debit to sales account. Very good. Next one. Sold goods to Ajay rupees 1,500. So if person's name is given, that means we have sold goods to Ajay on credit. Money has not come. Okay, so what will be the journal entry? Yes, Ajay account debit to sales account. Fine. Sorry, sales account, yes. Paid rent. And rent account debit to cash. Uh, very good, Samudra. Rent account debit to cash account. Sorry, rent account debit to cash account. Yes, 1800. Next one, commission received rupees 300. Yes, cash, cash, uh, mm -hmm. cash account debit to commission received account. Yes, we have received cash. Very good. So that way, you also have to be pro. Now they have become pro. Even Samudra here giving uh, answers. So you will also be able to do it maybe in the next class. After that also, keep trying. You'll understand, you'll also be able to give the answer. Fine, it's not that hard, is it? Is it? No, no right? It's not. No, man, it's easy. Yes, he's telling me it's easy. Fine, so you'll be able to do it. <coughs> so, uh, science is easy. So, somebody was uh, here, uh, BTEC, uh, Nishan, who, who, Hirdam, who is BTEC? Jayashree. <coughs> yeah, Jayashree. Science is easy or commerce is Me easy too. now? <laughs> I have to think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll uh, come to know about it. <laughs> so, today what have you learned? Today you have learned what is an account, what are the various types of account, right? You have understood uh, like uh, how to, what are the rules of various accounts, then, then few journal entries, okay, fine. So in the next class, we'll uh, do few journal and how to post into ledger that I will 
explained it to you. So rules, I think, uh, you're clear now. Rules clear? 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 Okay. You see the rules you have already written uh, in your copy. You see the rules and uh, uh, try to do it. Okay. You struggle with yourself and try to do it. Try to understand it and you'll understand. Fine. Okay. Uh, so that's all for today. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am.